Tonight, an innovative strategy is gaining ground in treating certain cancer patients. Instead of the most aggressive approach, a groundbreaking report shows how skipping a common treatment may improve a patient's quality of life without hurting their chances of survival. In this case, the cancer is colorectal cancer. My story begins with a visit to UCSF Medical Center. Amy Lawson needs to keep busy. A doctor herself, it's not always easy being a patient. My octopus. She's never without her yarn and her lucky charms, a source of comfort during life's hardest moments. And then I have my octopus that I got from Mexico that's carved out of a coconut um, seed. And then buffalo is my other thing that like is kind of strength that like helps me. So these are the things that I have. And then I crocheted my my scarf to be my armor. Amy is getting her second round of chemotherapy to treat her colorectal cancer. Deep breath. A frightening There's diagnosis that was discovered by accident. I was going in for a procedure to look at my esophagus and my doctor said, oh, you're over 45, you should just get your first colonoscopy because the recommendations changed. You know, they're gonna put you under anesthesia, so just do both tests. I was like, all right. Um, and I woke up from anesthesia and the doctor said, your esophagus is fine, but I think you have rectal cancer. I was just thinking like worst case scenario, what if this is, you know, everywhere in my body? Am I going to die? Fortunately, the cancer has not spread to other parts of her body, but Amy still needs to undergo intense treatment. She's been here before. My first cancer was a sarcoma in like my upper thigh when I was in college. I spent a year doing intensive chemotherapy and I did radiation and I had surgery in the middle of it. So I, that was like full court press. I did everything before. Intense radiation for her sarcoma left her with permanent nerve damage. So I haven't walked completely normally since then. I have one leg that's a lot weaker than the other. But okay. this time around, her treatment may not need to be as debilitating. Dr. Alan Vanuk is her oncologist. He led a trial at UCSF that found when it comes to treating many patients with rectal cancer, less is more. Over the years, we've learned that we can cure patients with cancer, but uh, recognize that we may be over-treating patients, doing too much therapy. Uh, in our zeal to cure patients, perhaps we could get away with less treatment if we were to step back. The trial followed 1,100 patients over eight years and found that some patients didn't have to go through radiation to cure their cancer. It's fair to say that every study we do, we look at, at what are called interim results. And right now we're convinced that the, there's no compromise in patient's survival or the risk of recurrent cancer. Over time, though, we'll make sure that that's the case. But similarly, we'll see if, if not having had radiation in a subset of patients may change and improve the quality of life of these patients down the road. This was welcome news to Amy. I'm 46, I'm not super old. I consider myself young-ish and healthy-ish. And so if I can not have to do all three modalities of treatment, that would be great. Amy and Dr. Vanuk are still deciding what she will do to treat her cancer. It all depends on how her body responds to chemo. In the meantime, she'll continue to crochet. She hands out little octopuses to nurses flight attendants, often complete strangers. My positive attitude got me through my last experience with cancer. Um, not always as positive in private as when I'm around other people, but I'm trying to experience both sides this time and, you know, let myself be afraid, but also, you know, get done what I need to get done and talk to the people I need to, to so that I can make the best decisions for myself. For Amy, Making others smile is medicine. Well, Amy even gave me a little octopus, and I will treasure it always. Now, with cancers among younger Americans on the rise, quality of life issues take on an added significance. Amy is just 46 years old, as she mentioned there.